following your dreams. I don't think we should all do it. Um, especially a lot of our dreams are, are pretty bad. Um, let's face it, when I was a kid, my dream was to be a magician. And I got bullied about it, so I gave it up. And now, in hindsight, thank God. Uh, yes, otherwise I would be an adult magician. Uh, I'm, I'll say it, sometimes bullying works. Uh, thank you, Brad. He's a roofer. I think magic is fine. I just. I don't understand why such a big part of being a magician seems to involve being a huge creep. You know, like, what is, how does that help the magic? You know, like, I feel like magic used to be more theatrical, it was more like, magic, you know, and now it's like, magic. <laughs> and they're all like that. Is there some, like, magic school where they're teaching this and then they're like, here's how you pull a rabbit out of a hat and here's how you dress like the sort of guy who would pretend he's allergic to condoms. <laughs> So, I mean, I did make it easy on myself as a kid. I, I already had red hair, I probably didn't need to also be a magician. I need to also do capoeira. Which, if you don't know, is a form of Brazilian dance fighting, which I studied under my sensei, Tony Wolf. Uh, between the ages of 12 and the ages of 13, uh, capoeira. It's a very beautiful, noble discipline. Not too many real-world applications for a 12-year-old white kid in Wellington. Like, there was never a time I was getting bullied about my magic that capoeira came in handy. I'm like, hey Nick, your magic sucks, bro. Oh yeah? which is infamously creep-free. <laughs> uh, I mean, the most tra traumatic thing that happened to me as a kid is that uh, we, as a family, used to share the bathwater. Um, something I recently remembered that we did. So why we did that? Uh, every night, uh, my dad, who is here, would... Uh, <laughs> I've just had a lovely idea. <laughs> Beautiful bath. Uh, why don't you, my eldest son, have that bath that I've just had? And I would, you know, because I trusted him. And I would go, <laughs> <laughs> sit in my dad's bath water and, and, and now we're all in it. <laughs> now we're all in daddy's bath water. <laughs> And then I put some soap scum and hair and twigs and leaves and a frog on a lily pad. And I'd fish around for the flannel and come up with like an old tin can and a boot. Then I would come out of the bath and I'd be like, uh, Tim, I've just had a lovely bath. I'm the oldest of four. My youngest brother never had a clean bath in his life. And it's fucked me up because now I can't have a bath unless someone else has had it already. You know, and I'm staying in a hotel and ringing up like a week in advance, like, is there a bath in? Is there a bath in? Leave it in. 